Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nancy Radom's journey, coming for an update. Uh, first of all, I have looked at my stats and there's probably 90% of the people that watch my videos, um, they're, they're not subscribed and they don't hit that like button. So if you do enjoy my content or if it's helpful for you, please think about subscribing and hit that like button. It helps. So back to the update. Um, I went to see my Boston Scientific rep not too long ago. I was having a decent amount of pain and I wanted to see if there was more that they could do. I am six and a half months post Boston Scientific Spinal Cord Stimulator Permanent Surgery for any of you that are new. Um, for the most part, it's been doing pretty good. Now, I did have an accident and I wanted to share it with you so that hopefully someone else won't do it. I plugged in my, or I uh, was charging my generator. I had turned off my remote because it's supposed to help shorten the length of time of how long it takes to recharge. I wait till my battery level is down to two instead of three and I proceed to charge. I turn off my unit because it's supposed to help um, charge a little bit quicker and not get it quite as warm. Um, so what I found out was when I went to Boston Science, well, when I went to meet the Bo my Boston Scientific rep, I realized I forgot to turn it back on after I was done charging. So it was like that for about four days. So y'all, you don't have to turn off your remote or your system to charge. That only, for at least for my circumstance, that only helps the charge time by about 10, 15 minutes. And that's just, it, it's very minute. Because my charge time only takes about an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. So she did update my programs. It wasn't a significant, significant amount, but it was a decent amount. The programs that I have is you have your normal background program that runs all the time. And then I have an automatic burst that comes on every three hours and that lasts about 10 minutes. So I really don't have to think about it. And she did have to readjust that. So that has helped. I've also found out that due to the fact that I have a greater tranquil bursitis, we'll just leave it at that. I have bursitis in my right hip and the spinal cord stimulator does not help out with that. Uh, the only thing that seems to help out with that is injections and I really don't want to do that again. In the past eight years, I have had approximately 25 of them and with our insurance, it does not cover $800. So it's $800 out of my own pocket each time I get them. But I am contemplating that again. So if you have any questions, concerns, comments, put them down in the comment section below. And we will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.